Welcome to the QuickBooks Chapter 1 lecture video. QuickBooks is an accounting program designed with the non-accountant in mind. We learned about accounting terminology and processes with the college accounting text. QuickBooks uses common business language to complete the tasks of accounting, like entering and paying bills. As you enter transactions like these, QuickBooks records the data in the journal and ledger like we did in chapters 1 through 5 of the accounting text and creates the trial balance and the financial statements. There are some tasks in QuickBooks that require accounting knowledge and our text states that a basic understanding of accounting terms and procedures allows you to operate QuickBooks more efficiently. The four levels of operation in QuickBooks are new company setup, lists and centers, activities, and reports. We will learn about new company setup in later chapters. We will record the company name, address, and other company information. The lists and centers feature is like a database like Microsoft Access. This is where we record background information on items like charts of account, inventory items, customers, vendors, employees, etc. The activities operation is where routine accounting work is processed. Reports and financial statements are generated based on information entered into QuickBooks. <clears throat> the first thing you need to do is download the QuickBooks program to your computer. There are instructions on pages 1-4 and 1-5 of your textbook on how to install QuickBooks onto your computer. You can use the CD that was included with your um, activation code on it. If you do not have a disk drive, contact Paradigm's text support. Note, you must register your QuickBooks program after you download it. This is different from keying in your activation code. It will ask for the company name, address, etc. Just put your information in there, like your name, your address, your phone number. If you do not register the program, your trial will not work for the full 140 days. Next, you will download your student data files for QuickBooks onto your computer. To do so, you can use the Student Resources CD that was included in your textbook bundle, or you can visit www.paradigmcollege.net forward slash QuickBooks 2013. For installation instructions, see pages 1-5 and 1-6 of your textbook. <clears throat> After you've downloaded the files to your computer, <clears throat> you will open the QuickBooks program. See page 1-6 of your textbook for instructions. QuickBooks is similar to Microsoft products. It has a menu bar across the top. It uses drop-down menus and dialog boxes like Microsoft and has many similar features like the keyboard shortcuts. Take note, QuickBooks is a massively big program. If you have an older computer, you may have trouble running QuickBooks on your computer. Because the files are so big and massive, I don't have you send me the files, the QuickBooks files, because they were having causing students computers to time out before they uploaded. So for chapter one you will submit screenshots to me and that's what I will use to grade chapter one. For chapters two through ten you will create reports to send in order to be graded for your assignments. The practice exercises are tutorials that run through each chapter they are required exercises that are submitted and graded. Completing these makes it easier to complete the case problem. 
because you learn the tasks that you will use in the case problem. We will complete the practice exercises together and you complete the case problem on your own. In this unit, we will learn tasks for Chapter 1. For Chapter 1, we will learn how to open a company file, back up a company file, restore a company file, and change the company name. The first steps we are going to learn are opening a company file. These steps are on pages 1-10 and 1-11 of your textbook. Step number 1. At the No Company Open window, click Open or Restore an existing company. Step 2. In the Open or Restore Company window, choose Open a Company File and click Next. Step 4. In the Open a Company dialog box, in the Look in Text box, choose the location where you are going to save your company files or where you did save your student data files. And it helps if you will make a folder, QuickBooks Chapter 1 Practice and QuickBooks Chapter 1 Case Problem. And you should do this for each subsequent chapter. A practice exercise for Chapter 2, a case problem folder for Chapter 2. So make sure you're doing that. And then you will select the company CH1. Kristen Reyna Interior Designs QBW and click Open. Then you will note you should see the company name across your title bar in QuickBooks. To hide the icon bar on the left side of your screen or close your home page window, see the instructions on page 1-12 of your textbook. Next, we will back up a company file. We do this to preserve the original file so that it can be used by others or in the case that our file is destroyed or damaged. When we name the files, all student data files begin with CH1, CH2, etc. We will change the CH1 to EX1 and insert our name in brackets. The bracket keys are located to the right of the P key on the keyboard and it does not use the shift key. So the file name would change from CH1 Kristen Reyna Interior Designs to EX1 beginning bracket your name closing bracket Kristen Reyna Interior Designs. The steps involved in backing up a company are Step 1. At the main menu bar, click File and point to Backup Company. Then you will scroll into the submenu and click Create Local Backup. Step 3. In the Create Backup window, at the Do You Want to Save Your Backup Copy Online or Locally page, click Local Backup and click Next. At the Backup Options window, click the Browse button. At the Browse for Folder window, choose your subfolder wherever you saved your files and click OK. Then you will notice that the pathway to your file shows in the box to the left of the Browse button. Then click OK. Now QuickBooks will give you a message asking if you want to save your file to the same place as your other copy. And they do this for protection purposes in case one file would get destroyed. 
but for the purposes of this class we're going to save them in the same place so at this message click use this location step 10 at the when do you want to save your backup copy page choose save it now and click next step 11 in the save in box navigate to where you want to save your file in the file name text box type ex1 beginning bracket your name closing bracket Kristen Reyna Interior Designs and then click Save. And notice when I'm saying to put your name in brackets, I don't mean the words your name, I mean your actual name by which you are called. Step 14, you get a message saying that QuickBooks has saved a backup of the company file. Click OK. Next, we will restore the backup copy of the company file. Backup copies have a .qbb extension. The restored copy will have a .qbw extension. The steps involved in the restore process are Step 1. At the main menu bar, click File and click Open or Restore Company. Step 2. In the Open or Restore Company window, at the What Type of File Do You Want to Open or Restore page, click Restore a Backup Copy and click Next. Step 4. At the Is the Backup Copy Stored Locally or Online page, choose Local Backup and click Next. In the Look In text box, Navigate to where you saved your backup copy. Select the company file, EX1, your name, Kristen Reyna Interior Designs, and click Open. At the Where do you want to restore the file page, click Next. In the Save In text box, navigate to where you are saving your files. In the File Name text box, type EX1, beginning bracket, your name, closing bracket, Kristen Reyna Interior Designs, and click Save. A message stating your data has been restored successfully should appear. Click OK. And if your home page appears, click the X in the upper right corner to close it as seen on this screen. Next, we will change the company name. The steps in changing the company name are Step 1. Click Company on the main menu bar, then click Company Information. At the Company Information window, in the company name text box, change the company name to EX1, beginning bracket, your name, closing bracket, Kristen Reyna Interior Designs, and click OK. Then you should see that the file name is changed across the title bar of QuickBooks. Take note that the steps to open a company, back up a company, restore a company, and change a company name will be completed in each chapter of QuickBooks every time we open a file. So please be sure to learn them. You are now ready to complete your case problem, but first you need to go to Blackboard to the QuickBooks Assignments links and go to the QuickBooks practice problem and submit your work. To submit your work, we're going to create a screenshot. To do so, you need to open My Computer or File Explorer. In Windows 7, Vista, or XP, 
You will click the folder on the taskbar at the bottom of the screen. You see it over in the left corner here. Once it is opened and you see your files that you created for your Chapter 1 practice video, and you'll see Chapter 1 practice video in the address bar at the top of your screen. Then you will click Organize in the upper left corner, and in the drop-down menu, you will click Folder and Search Options. In the dialog box that appears, the Folder Options dialog box, you will click the View tab. Then you will click the checkbox next to Hide Extensions for Known File Types to remove the check mark if necessary, and then click OK. Take note, if you are using Windows 8, you will press the Windows key on the keyboard, type File Explorer. When it shows, double click it, and then when it opens, click the View tab and click the box next to File Extensions to show your file extensions. I want you to show me your file extensions because I need to make sure that you are sending me your .qbb file, which is your backup file, your .qbw file, which is your actual working file, and your restored folder. The other documents that are created when you do this process are supporting documents and you should have those in your screenshot as well. The next thing you need to do is widen your columns so that I can see all file extensions. To do that, point to the line between name and date modified. Your cursor will change to a thick line with a double headed arrow. Double click to auto fit the name column just like we learned in Excel. On your keyboard, press the print screen button. It says PRTSC. It's on the right side of your keyboard above the backspace key or if you have a numeric keypad, it's above your numeric keypad. Then you will open Word and click the paste button to paste the image into Word. Once you have done that, save the document as QuickBooks Chapter 1 Practice Assignment and submit the document through the practice link in the Chapter 1 QuickBooks 